y'all, Stephanie here's Reynolds Mom Life. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video for you that I thought would be handy right before we start the new year of 2018. I don't know about y'all, but I cannot believe that it is already 2018. So crazy. And hopefully you don't hear the background of ABC song <laughs> when my kids are listening to while they do lunch. But if you do, that's what it is. Just enjoy it. Let your kid listen to it while you listen to this. So today I have for you 12 things to be putting in your annual budget. Now what I mean by an annual budget is not that you're going to map out every single month and know exactly what you're going to spend. That would be crazy to be able to know that far in advance like it's going to happen, right? But I think it's really good to kind of have a financial map every year. So kind of an idea of what are we planning to do this year? What are our known expenses that maybe come out, you know, a couple times a year or only once a year? What months do those occur in? So that when you get to that month, you already have kind of ahead of the game knowing what to put in the budget that month. We don't do sinking funds specifically for every little thing, like our car fund um, covers the replacement of an entire car or an extremely big repair. Um, and we already have that where it is, so we're not adding to that. So we don't, if we need to get our oil changed, we don't take from that sinking fund, so we don't add to that sinking fund every month either. So if you do sinking funds, then yours is gonna look a little bit different because some of this stuff may just always be coming out of a sinking fund and you may always just be adding to sinking funds, but we don't go, um, like that crazy with sinking funds. Like we have our fully funded emergency fund, we have a car fund to replace one of our entire vehicles, and we drive older vehicles, so that's not, you know, like $40,000 is not in there, but it's enough to replace a car. Um, and then we have a savings account that is trip slash other, which is like all of our vacations. Um, basically every month we chunk money into that savings account for whatever might come up. So. Some of these, if they were more than what we planned for that month, might come out of that, but generally they don't. Generally we try and just save for this kind of stuff out of, um, after we've done all the necessary stuff in the budget, that extra would generally go to savings. If it's one of the months that these fall in, then some of that won't go to savings and some of that will cover this instead. So I'm gonna go over these 12 things. Just keep in mind, they may not all apply to your family, but I bet um, some of them do. Okay, so I'm gonna get right to my list now. Um, so the number one thing I have on here is homeowner's insurance, and I'm sure it's different depending on what insurance you have, but I know for us, our homeowner's insurance and our car insurance, you get a discount if you pay it all at once. So rather than making it a monthly bill, well, hello, Elliot. <laughs> you like his dirty face? Um, which you can do if you pay it one time a year, and they will give you a discount on um, your insurance. Number two is contacts or glasses. So my husband wears contacts, so we know, okay, how long is your prescription good for? You have to get a new one every year, how many contacts do you have, do you need new glasses, we can pick which month, you know, we know that's gonna come from. Same with our homeowner's insurance, we know we have to pay that every May, um, and we know then to put that in the monthly, um, in my monthly planner for kind of like budgeting. Number three is dental appointments. And shop this around, like all dentists don't cost the same amount, and some dentists have like complete nonsense and they're terrible, and they'll say you need a lot of things you don't need done. So make sure you're going to a good dentist. Um, give them a call if you don't have dental insurance, find out what their cash price is. A lot of times it's a lot more inexpensive if they, ha they have cash prices that are sometimes more inexpensive than actually even going through your insurance. So figure that out. Know what that amount costs. Also keep in mind if you go to the dentist twice a year like you're supposed to, one of those visits is going to have an x-ray and that's going to cost more than your other visit that is just a cleaning. So you can keep that budgeted in as well. Um, number four is your term life insurance. And so if you're not sure what term life insurance is or what kind of um, life insurance you have or if you need it, Go to DaveRamsey.com. <laughs> you will be convinced you need it. You do need it. Um, so pay for your term life insurance as well. And stay-at-home moms need that. It's such a myth that we don't need it. It would be a lot of money for Jason to try and replace all that I do if something happened to me. So get term life insurance as well. Um, number five is your oil change and your car maintenance. And so we know how much oil changes cost. You know roughly how many times you're going to need that done a year or what months you're going to get that done. Also, like, um, both of our cars hit 100,000 miles last year. <laughs> Woohoo, older cars. And so um, they had to get the maintenance that is needed done at that time. So knowing that that kind of stuff is coming up. At the beginning of the year, Jason and I are like, okay, is, is somebody's car going to need tires? Anything like that, kind of knowing what month you plan to do that in so you can plan it into the budget. Mm -hmm. um, number six is your car registration. That should not be a surprise. You're going to have to get your car registration done. In California, it just went up. So have that budgeted in. Number seven is property taxes. Again, not any fun, but um, you can know what that is and be planning for that. It's a really big bill. Um, I think most places I know ours is, is quite large. So be prepared and ready for that. And number eight is if you have to pay in taxes. So depending on your income bracket, you're either... Okay, let mommy talk. Depending on your income, you're either getting taxes back or you're paying in. So make sure you know which one of those things are and that you're not surprised by it. 
Um, and number nine is co-pays for any routine doctor's visit. So, like with our doctor's visit. Alright, so I'm just trying to talk. Um, with our doctor, it is like $40 for the, for the well child checkups, copay or doctor's visit or whatever. So know what that is going to be and then how many, depending on your kid's age, how many visits are going to have that year, what month are they going to fall in, so you're ready for those as well. And any, of course, that you have for yourself or your husband. And number 10 is water filters and air filters for your house. So we have to change ours in our refrigerator. It's kind of pricey. Uh, we change it twice a year. So knowing what month that is going to come out in and also getting the air filters done for the house. Number 11 is my favorite one. Make sure you're budgeting for vacation. So it's important, I think, to, you know, when you're planning the year, <laughs> your financial year, that's a good time to dream and talk about what do you want to do this year. My husband and I have, like, three things looking into 2018. Well, really four that are kind of vacations that are, um, you know, that are going to be somewhat expensive. And so knowing when are those coming, how much do we need for those, we're always saving for trips because that's our favorite thing to do. That's like a majority of why we even budget is because we want to make sure we have money to go do fun things with our kids and with each other. Um, but know when those are coming and have a general idea of how much you're going to need for each of those trips and obviously plan accordingly. And number 12 is landscape maintenance. So make sure, Elliot, thank you, make sure you have money in the budget for anything that might be done that year if you're going to have to get your watering system redone or any um, bushes taken out, trees trimmed, whatever it is, make sure you're planning what months that's going to come out of and that you have the income for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, <laughs> Interruptions and All by Elliot, for once it was not Lucy. If you're new to my channel, I am a mother of four, so doing a video uninterrupted is a very rare thing for me. But I hope you enjoyed it anyways and got some good information. Leave down below anything that I didn't mention that maybe you do an annual budget for, or if you even do one, um, let me know. And I will talk to you all there, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.